What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we are going to be going over Russell Westbrook. So Russell Westbrook came out yesterday. So we haven't um, gone over him yet, and we are going to be showing you guys his strengths, his weaknesses, and whether I believe he is worth it or not in NBA 2K22, my team. These gameplays are going to be a little bit different a little bit different than the way they have been rather than just trying to score as many points as possible with the card just showing what he does what he doesn't do and hopefully um giving you guys enough information as whether or not you should make your own decisions i'm gonna give my opinion but again if you don't agree that is perfectly perfectly fine like for example a lot of people love gilbert arenas i don't but i know a lot of people do so anyway russell westbrook 6-3 Six Hall of Fame badges. He got Dimer. He's got Lucky number seven on Hall of Fame, which is actually a pretty good badge. He's got half quick first step, half downhill, half fast switch. He's got 30 golds, including like slithery, bayonet, space creator, stop and go, unpluckable and strippable, floor general, ball stripper, as well as like interceptor, glue hands, ankle breaker. He's got gold hot or he's got bronze. Sorry, it's gold or silver hustler. He's gold hustler. He's actually a pretty good badge. And he's got like bronze clamps, bronze intimidator. Like bronze clamps, fine. Bronze mismatch expert. I would have rather seen if he had a higher intimidator, it would be a little bit better. But like he again is a point guard. So the real comparison here is him versus Rose. Because he is like quite a bit more expensive than Rose. So he gets like, I think it's a 79 three ball. Good mid range. A great driving dunk of 90. 90 ball handle. Good steal on perimeter defense. He's got unbelievable speed, speed ball acceleration, all of 96. And he's got lateral quickness, I think, of 89. So like that's really, really good. So. If you're looking at prices in this game, so let's just take a look right here. So like Russell Westbrook is, he's not cheap. I'm telling you, he is not cheap at all. Like he is 250K. He is about a quarter of a million MT. And the real biggest comparison for him is Derek Rose, who is probably in and around the same price, maybe a little bit less. We have to see um, just in general what he is like, but Russell Westbrook, if you guys can see right here, his release is greenable. His release is very, very greenable. Let's see what the Westbrook build looks like in game. Sometimes Westbrook doesn't look good in 2K. You know what? Actually, Westbrook, Westbrook looks the same as he did even on current gen last year. Like genuinely, he he does. Okay, let's see who's behind the back. He's behind the back. He's be pro six. He does not. He feels kind of slow. Okay. He has the Westbrook dribble style. So let's see can he burst out of it. Kind of. His release isn't fast. It's not bad either. Like it's very it's more greenable. It's slower than D Rose, but it's a uh, more uh it's definitely more greenable. Like if you are in a situation where you're wide open with Westbrook, it's probably rare you're gonna green, but it's slow. Like it's Westbrook's release. We've all we've all used Westbrook's in 2K throughout the years. There's nothing different between this. There's no difference between this Westbrook. And for example, the like Opal Westbrook from last year, the Diamond Westbrook, like it is what it is. We all know what we're getting with Russell Westbrook. Like going to the basket again, if you are somebody that can abuse, oh, that step back is nice. Okay, you actually get space off the step back. But if you are someone that knows how to use, why is it that I can never trigger the dunk meter anymore? What am I doing wrong? If you're, I'm horrific at it. But if you are someone that can abuse that, he's pretty good. And even just holding square, most of the time for me, holding square, I guess it's almost the same at the contact as using the dunk meter. Like, I could be wrong with that, but for me, it feels basically the same. But, uh, yeah, like, it, that's kind of is what Westbrook is. Like, if we're looking at his shooting badges, like, he does have some good finishing badges. If you're looking at shooting badges, they're not bad, as far as I'm aware. Like, he does get lucky number seven. Problem is, though, he doesn't get, like, difficult shots. So if you're attacking this range right here and shooting these fades, he's not going to hit them at as, nearly as high as right. Like, if we looked, if you looked at the Pierce gameplay earlier, like, I, that was my go-to shot with Pierce. He hits them when he's open, but he's not going to hit them at a crazy high rate. Fades are still there. Um, but his dunking is going to be really good. He does not move as fast as Derrick Rose. I'm just putting it out there. He does not move as fast. Like, no, no. He doesn't burst. His burst is not fast. That is a problem. That is a really big problem. Like that burst is not fast. 
it's not sl super slow either. Like, it's not like slasher dribble style. But, like, if we compare that to, like, Derrick Rose or Quick or Shifty, it's not the same burst. It is not the same burst as either of them. But, again, he's still, he's still got that 96 speed with half quick first step. So, he's still going to feel pretty fast. But I just mean he would have... You would expect someone with his speed. Like, he's got the best Hall of Fame badge. Or the Hall of... Or he's got Hall of Fame quick first step with the fastest speed in the game right now. So, you would expect him to feel super fast. And he just feels moderately fast. Like, it's not like he feels slow. But, like, if you're asking me who's faster him or Jalen Suggs. If you took away Westbrook and didn't tell me these stats, I would have guessed. Uh, Jalen Suggs is faster. Because dribble style means so much for how fast the player is without the ball. It's actually, like, that is as important as... That is genuinely as important half the time as speed stat. But anyway, yeah, he should be pretty good. So anyway, that's green three. Now we're going to go on to a game. But I'm like, I'm like looking forward to using Westbrook. Like, I don't think he's going to be a bad player. I don't think he's going to be the best player in the world either by any means. I also don't think he's going to be bad. But like the real comparison is, is like, is he better than D-Rose? If he's better than D-Rose, I mean, I think you're going to see a lot of people using him. And if he's worse than D-Rose, I don't think you're going to see many Westbrooks out there because he's very expensive. I hate this limited edition card art. I don't, like, it looks, it literally just looks like free agents. Like, I didn't, when I first saw the card art the day before, I was like, oh, I don't think it's actually that bad. And now when you see it compared to your card art in collections, it is awful. Especially with how good the thing card art was. I get what they were trying to do with it, but it's just bad. And it's just, like, objectively bad. So, um... Yeah, let's see who we can play here. He's gonna be playing at the 1 anyway. But it's like, if you compare him to a Donovan Mitchell... Mitchell feels so much faster. And it's a weird one, because, like, obviously Mitchell plays the 2. And we all know how great Mitchell is the 2. But, like, if Donovan Mitchell... Was a point guard... I'm telling you, he would be... He would be everybody's point guard. Including me. Like, Donovan Mitchell not only would be everybody's point guard, is that I he, I wouldn't be selling him. Like, I'm probably going to sell him um, before a Super Packs. He's just ridiculous. He's just absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. But, uh, yeah, hopefully we can go and find a game quickly because you guys can see just EU, EU Xbox. Like, this is, like, TTO is the most played game mode. If this is how long it takes to find a game of TTO on EU Xbox, you better believe, like, this is what whatever happens when you start playing the draft. I can only imagine 250k yesterday after, like, an hour, no players being there. There's no players being left after an hour. It's like why I felt so bad for that Dunk God guy who was playing in Australia, and they were at 4 a.m., he was in first place with like an hour to go and found one game in the last hour. Oh, I genuinely felt bad for the guy. Like he was, he was going to qualify. He was genuinely, genuinely going to qualify. So, are we really not going to find a game? All right. All right, let's just leave it for however long it takes okay it took like two three minutes to find a game you match up to Kyrie. so if he can't cut Kyrie to something wrong chase down someone got the block there on Kyrie's the worst layup package in all of my team oh just grab the damn ball somebody there we go there we go let's run it down oh pull back pull back oh yeah we're there we got him on the burst to the basket westbrook with the dunk let's go okay it's our it's our our lane to play. Kyrie, stick on the right hand. Drop, 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 drop. He's gonna pass. He's gonna throw. Oh, what am I doing? I just baited a three-point shot by Jermaine O'Neal. Oh, can I pull back? Nope. Off dimer. Doesn't matter. We can shoot whites with him. We get off the half dimer passes. Okay, I just want him to run at me. See if I can get a steal. Nope. He shoots an accidental pull-up. He did not mean to do that. And greens. I'm very confident that, that he did not mean what happened just there. Oh, yeah. Give me that. Give me that. Step back. We got open. I just missed times. Okay, come on. 
That's a bad shot. We're good. Oh, snatch back. Burn. Surely I should be able to just burn Kyrie Irving easier than this. Like surely, surely burning Kyrie Irving should not be this hard with Russell Westbrook. Kyrie Irving is a 68 lateral quickness. 68. Like I get it. Kyrie was like a guy that people like to use in week one. But still, he hasn't been good since week one. Give me the midi. Good. Let's go. I mean, if Westbrook gets space, he's greening. I do want to say that. Like, if Westbrook does get space, he is greening quite a lot. So I don't think we can really... We can really say that the release is a big problem with Westbrook. It's just hard to kind of get space with him. Good shot. So 12-2. He's looking pretty good. He's looking pretty good. Okay, I just want to... I'm going to get a few dunks with him. Four. Again, it's just... I was kind of struggling. Okay, Kelly Chapuka should be all right. Run around Kyrie. Dude, you've got 96 driving. Oh, okay. Okay, I was about to say he's got 96 speed. He's got 90 driving dunk. Okay, I see you, Westbrook. I mean, he's D Rose. He's slightly better D Rose on defense. But on offense, he is. Like, he is a dunker. I just, it's just a lot harder with Westbrook to get him open than D Rose. Hey, Westbrook got like a pro three behind the back. Oh, it's nice. That's a good shot right there. Okay, maybe he, he does three hunt better than D-Rose. He does three hunt better than D-Rose, but not by much. But really not by much. Okay, come back and cover corner. Okay, come on. Give me that. Fade away. It's a bad shot. I thought I'd quick stop there. Steal. Let's go, Westbrook. Let's go, Westbrook. Dot corn, that's green. I mean, he gets some space. He's so cash. Like, that's one of the things. Westbrook has had a really underrated release over the years because it's been slow. Like, competitively, Westbrook has always struggled because it's hard to get his release off. But, like, if you're just playing as a dude in Unlimited, it's actually cash. He's, he does not feel fast on bursts. Like, whatever burst that was that I moved backwards is probably the best that I bursted with him. I need to figure out how to do that. Okay, he's okay off the snatch back burst. If you do this, he can kind of burst fast. But, like, if you're coming out of a lot of other drill moves, he does kind of struggle with the bursts. But Westbrook's Westbrook. Again, he is, like, a mediocre shooter. But overall, Westbrook's Westbrook. There's no other word to describe Westbrook other than Westbrook. He's going to run a dunk on people. He's a slasher. He's like, imagine Anthony Simons, but way better. Imagine, I'm not going to say similar to Suggs. His speed does not feel like, his speed legitimately does not feel like 99 or 96. It does not feel like it. His speed, if you told me speed was 90, like if I had to blind react to that player, and I didn't see his stats and badges and just got the player and was like, what would his speed be? I would guess like a high 80s. Um, but his dunk is ridiculous. His dunking is absolutely ridiculous. As well as that, his shooting is a lot better than I think people give a credit for. Like, he shoots the ball very, very well. He has some weaknesses. Again, he doesn't shoot from deep. His release, if you are good on defense, it's going to be hard to get a shot. He's very one-dimensional in competitive 2K. But in terms of playing unlimited just against the average player, he's going to ball out. Like, he's go genuinely going to ball out. When we're looking at point guards, he is in that upper echelon of point guards. He's definitely better than Gilbert. For me, he is in that Derrick Rose conversation. I think it's preference between the two of them. But he's in that, like, best point guard conversation. Like, Isaiah, he's preference with Isaiah Thomas. He does almost everything better than Isaiah Thomas. Like, if you guys don't know what Isaiah Thomas... Westbrook... He, Isaiah Thomas shoots better because of his release. And it's a bit faster. But in terms of wide open, similar level to Westbrook. So, you get, like, plus three difference. Westbrook dunks better. Westbrook's bigger. Westbrook's better on defense. So, like, Westbrook, he has to be in that conversation with the best point guard in the game. Do I put him up there for my play style? No, because I don't really use Rimrunner. Actually, you know what? He probably is number one for me. He actually, like, now that I think about it, the way I play for primary point guards, like, I was thinking, is he my best primary ball handler? And that's no. But, like, he plays really good defense, and he sets screen, he'll set screen and screens and dunk. He's probably the best player at point guard for me. But the way I need, the way I use my point guard, he's not going to be that better, much better than Jalen Suggs, 
just the way I use my point guard. He's a million times better than Suggs. They're not even similar players. But the way I use them, it's probably number one for me. But I mean, you could have a number... Let's just say Suggs is number the 10th best point guard in the game. The way I play, you can use Suggs and do the same thing as Westbrook. But um, Westbrook, he's a little bit overpriced at 250, but he's really good. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.